I think that people often feel that someone has to hold a gun to your head to get you to stay, but it's it's so much deeper than that. It's psychological. Um, there are things that that make you feel trapped, even if if you have access to an open door. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people don't really understand that. It's hard to understand that unless you've been in that position. And how many times when people say, "Well, you know, you have you had options. You could have run away. You could have done this. You could you could have done that." You're 16 years old, and you tell them. You know, it's it's hard to think about the options when you don't see the options. You don't know the options that exist for you. It's easy to look from the outside looking in, oh, well, you should have done this. And when you're caught up in emotions, when you're caught up in this psychological trap, you don't see all the options that are present for you. For you, it's, well, this is the way that it has to be, and I don't see any other viable options for me. Let's back up a little bit for our listeners. Tell us about your birth mom. Um, So I never really knew my biological mother Mm -hmm. growing up. I would hear things about her um, from my adoptive parents. But I didn't meet her until I was 16 years old, and she was never present after that, really. She just struggled a lot. What did you hear about her struggles? Um, She struggled a lot, from my understanding, um, and actually from her own mouth, with drugs and with alcohol. It's reported that while she was pregnant with you, she drank whiskey on a daily basis, and that she also smoked crack. Is that your understanding as well? Uh, that That's what I'd heard. I know she had uh, completed an affidavit saying that she did drink while she was pregnant with me. When you first heard of the hashtag Free Centoya Brown, were you surprised at that, that there were so many notables taking up your cause on social media? Tell me about the first time you heard about that. Yeah. I mean, God doesn't surprise me. So just the things that he does, I had seen him move in miraculous ways leading up to that moment. And for me, the most amazing thing was seeing the number of people all across the world, not just, you know, quote, unquote, notable individuals. Mm -hmm. I don't think any one person who showed their support was any greater than another. And to see so many people coming together from all walks of life, um, from all different backgrounds, conservatives and, you know, liberals. It was just so many people coming together, united around, you know, justice and what it means in our country, especially when it's concerning young people.